I'm Richard Ellis and I'm an architectural photographer. Today I'm going to show how to move an object in Photoshop. Firstly, it's always best to work from raw files. So let's open this one from a recent product shoot of Radiator Guards. Here we have a photo of a radiator against a nice background, but it's on a slope. So it's not going to look good in the customer's brochure or website. The first thing we're going to do is correct the lens geometry in the optics menu. For most lenses, Photoshop does this at a click. Now you see the barrel curvature has gone. Next, we're going to the geometry menu. We'll get rid of the converging verticals in the background wall to start with. These can be refined a bit more later. In the image, the floor and radiator are still sloping, but we'll deal with that in the main menu. Having done the geometry, we can refine a few things in the basic menu, exposure, saturation, and so on. And then open the main menu. Now, we're going to select the radiator and the floor below it and to the left, because we want all of this to be level. Because the lines are straight, it's best to select all of this with the polygonal lasso tool. We're using a two pixel feather so the edges don't look too harsh. Here the product has been enlarged and we can get the edge a little bit more precise. We then right click and select layer via copy. If we hide the background, layer zero, we can check the layer is what we want. Next, we go to the edit menu and transform the selected layer by a process of rotate, scale and skew until it's in the right position. That is covering the whole product on layer zero. Note that the floor in the selected area of layer one is now covered part of the wall. So we select that with another marquee in that layer, pick the eraser tool and erase inside the marquee. Now, if we look again at the image, we can see that there is a part of the product incorrectly fitted at the base. To eliminate this, we put another marquee around it and its surroundings. We pick the clone stamp tool and select size and hardness. And use the adjacent area to clone within the marquee. Another quick refinement. The upper pipe is much cleaner than the lower. So we'll make another layer via copy from layer zero, this time with a broader feather of six pixels. And use the move tool to put it over the lower pipe and tidy up that part of the image. We're going to refine the geometry a little more now. As this involves the whole image, we'll flatten it, i.e. reduce to a single layer. But first, using the spot healing brush tool, we'll get rid of some marks on the product and its surroundings. Then we select the whole image, Control A in Windows or Command A in Mac, and use Transform and Skew in the Edit menu to get it perfectly plumb. To complete the processing, we use the crop tool 
then move the marquee to where we want it and affirm the crop. And that's how we get from the raw image to this completed one. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe.